everyone, and welcome to The Little Blue Fly. Today I would like to take you along as I create my whimsy French-English countryside vignette. I would like to thank everyone for their graciously warm, kind, and inspiring comments left on my spring garden party video. If you are just visiting, I invite you to subscribe and tap that bell to be notified when I post new videos. Now let's begin, shall we? So we will start this floral arrangement using this gorgeous green French Tuscan pot. I purchased it many years ago. I will be adding Lavender from Hobby Lobby, Blueberries from New River Pottery, and Blackberries from Hobby Lobby. And again, always wait for the floral to come on sale. And Little Wispy Greens, those were purchased from Joann's. I will be using some moss. and another variety of moss. And as I create during spring, I love eating my sugar rocks, also known as jelly beans. My favorite flavor is the black anise bean. This is due to my German mother introducing this flavor early on in childhood. So I'm going to start with the two lavender bushes. First I'm going to pull the branches apart and then bend at the bottom. And we'll place one to the left side and the other to the right. Then I will be using this blueberry branch, which is perfect because it has the cluster of the three berries cascading down. And I will add another branch that has two clusters to the right side. Then going around the bottom, I'll add the wispy greens. Again, these were purchased from Joann's. Next, I'm going to add some of the blackberries. Now I'll use some of the moss. It's a nice filler and it gives a very nice element to the arrangement. Now next I'll be adding this different type of moss because I am going for a, a nest floral type look in this arrangement. So this was perfect to work with. I just go around the bottom with it 
And then when I see little spaces that look kind of empty, I'll just place some in there. Try not to give it too much form. Let it flow freely so it will look more natural. Next, I'm adding a bird's nest purchased from Hobby Lobby. And some wispy greens inside the arrangement. Now I added three branches, yellow ones, to give the arrangement some added light and some moss around the nest. And there we have it a floral nest arrangement. Now we are going to begin at the very top of my entertainment center. It's a beautiful piece I found on Facebook Marketplace for $250. I placed my lamp to the right hand side and the two baskets from Pottery Barn on top. I believe it was $250. I could be wrong, I'm sorry. Then I added the floral nest arrangement. And there's our Betsy and Ivan showing up for spring. To the left, I added a lantern from Hobby Lobby. I will be placing in this greenery garland I purchased from Hobby Lobby. It has a nice nest-like appearance to it. And my roosters and hen that I purchased from Marketplace. Now we will be starting the lemon basket. The basket was purchased from Kirkland's. Be using moss, just the green moss. This greenery came from Hobby Lobby. I love the variegated colors in that, the yellows with the greens. Those are my two favorite colors, yellow and green. And some lemons. Purchase those from TJ Maxx. A nest from New River Pottery and a hand towel from William Sonoma. A candle stand from Pottery Barn. Now first I start with the moss. I put it up against both sides and then I make little openings throughout the moss and that is for when I place the lemons in the basket you'll be able to see the lemons come through the moss. I put the pick at top and weave it through the wire. I wrap it around at the top over to the side. And the other side I just let cascade down. I add in the hand towel 
Always make sure to iron the linens, ladies. My mother taught me that many years ago. I add in the candle stand. Add it in the plastic bag to give some good height. And I just place the lemons and I'm stacking them up quite high because this arrangement's going up on a very tall entertainment center so I want to make sure that the lemons can be seen. So as you see I'm placing the lemons inside the gaps I made in the moss. Placing the nest right on top of the candle stand. And then I'll work some more of the greenery through the lemons. And I'll add in large pieces of moss. I just really, I know I say it over and over again, but I really love working with the mosses. And here we go. Ready to be placed. So I removed one of the Pottery Barn baskets and placed this one up at top. I added a citrus framed print next to the basket. Put Ivan back up on top. And added some light to the left hand side by the rooster and hen. Now I will be working in the cubbies. And I'll keep these quite simple because I really want them to complement the top of the unit. I started with some whimsy Mackenzie Child's charger plates. My fruit plates from Raymond Waits. I added some moss around the bottom. And some floral on the left and right hand side. It was purchased from Joann's. And a book in the center with some more floral and just a little glass cloche with an egg in it. 